Stanton Drew is a megalithic prehistoric complex in Somerset. It consists of three stone circles, the largest of which is bigger than Stonehenge, and is the second biggest stone circle in Britain, after Avery. There is an outlier to the north called Holtville's Coit, which could have been part of a burial chamber. It's not visible from the Great Circle, but, but if put upright, and, and other things between removed, it would be. There is also a group of stones called the Cove, near the church. The website, Map of the Ancient Landscape Around Glastonbury, by Paulden Jenkins, has a diagram of the site, showing an interesting alignment system. The centre of the Great Circle, and that of the south-west one, aligns with Houtville's Quoit, and the centres of the Great and North-East Circles align with the Cove. Also, the eastern edges of all three circles align with each other. All these alignments seem to be lays, fanning out for miles across the Somerset landscape, passing through some interesting places. The lay through the centres of the northeast and great circles comes from a crossroads north of Pensford, through the circle centres to Stanton Drew Church, just clipping the southern tip of the east end. This church was built in the 13th century, though the interior shows the work carried out in 1847 when the south, west and north walls were rebuilt. The line then goes through the cove and on to the St Bartholomew's Church in Ubley. This is a small medieval church originating in the 13th century with later additions, though it still has a 13th century stone font. It then runs along the top of Cheddar Gorge, almost certainly over the caves, and on to the Church of St Andrew in Cheddar, which dates from the 14th century, although this again has 19th century restoration. The tower rises to a hundred feet and dates from around 1423. The lay through Houtville's Quoit, the centre of the Great Circle and the centre of the South West Circle, continues to the Church of St Lawrence in East Harptree, which was built in the late 12th century. The original 12th century church was expanded in the 13th century and the tower added in the 15th. The three-stage west tower was built in the 15th century. The line then goes on to a tumulus near North Hill, Priddy, and on to the church of St Matthew in Wookie, which dates from the 12th century, though it was rebuilt in the 13th, and on to Ben Noel Hill, a summit 99 metres high. It's a geological site of special scientific interest, being a natural outcrop of Celestine rising from the Somerset levels. The next point is Fenny Castle, a modern Bailey castle thought to date from the Anarchy, when King Stephen and Empress Matilda contested the throne. Castles were acceptable lay points to Alfred Watkins, which brings up the question as to why these should be subconsciously cited in the system, which seems to be composed of sacred sites. The places of worship of all religions can be subconsciously cited. For instance, Woking Mosque, the oldest mosque in Britain, is a lay centre, as is Shah Jahan's Sikh temple in Scunthorpe. See the videos The Hidden Unity and St Paul's Eastern Lay Centre on this channel. This suggests that the worship of any religion energises the system, and the procedure seems to be ongoing. But why castles? These seem to be associated with the darker aspects of the human psyche, such as lust for power. But every castle would have had its chapel, and even in individuals the positive and negative aspects could be combined. William the Conqueror, who brought modern Bailey castles here, was every bit as bad as Putin. He laid waste to the whole of the north of England. But he knew it. And when he knew he was about to die, he was terrified of going to hell. Of course, religion has often had its dark side too, such as the vile concept of heresy, which has led to countless atrocities. 
Finally, the line reaches the site of Glastonbury Lake Village, an Iron Age village situated on a Cranog or man-made island in the Somerset Levels near Godney, some three miles northwest of Glastonbury. It has been described as the best preserved prehistoric village ever found in the United Kingdom. It covered an area of 400 feet by 300 feet. First constructed 250 BC by laying down timber and clay. Wooden houses and barns were then built on the clay base and occupied by up to 200 people until the village was abandoned around 50 BC. The lay touching the three edges of the circles that Stanton drew first goes through the summit of Knoll Hill. It then goes through a staggered crossroads at Compton Martin and up the mean following Harp Tree Hill Road to another staggered crossroads where there seems to be a deciduous clump. Through Gibbet's Brow, a hill on the Mendips 0.19 kilometres long and then to Lodge Hill, Westbury sub Mendip. A cue pit on this hill was originally thought to be a ritual site but now it's, th it's thought to be a, a, a pit producing white coal for the St Cuthbert's Minery owned by the bishops of Bath and Wells during the period 1600 to 1800. The line then reaches Mere Lake Village, the site of an Iron Age settlement on the Somerset Levels at Mere. In prehistoric times there were two villages situated within the now drained Mere Pool occupied at different times between 300 BC and 100 AD, similar to the nearby Glastonbury Lake village. The line then passes through Shapwick Church, which was constructed in the early 14th century and consecrated in 1331. It replaced an earlier building on a nearby site, which existed in 1168, but may go back to a charter of 971. The new building had the same dimensions as the previous church. Investigation of a wide lay through Glastonbury Tor and Stonehenge, through Somerset and Wiltshire, showed it to pass through the site of the original church site at Chatwick, within sight of Glastonbury Tor. On the map it appears to miss the present Chatwick church, but when doused there it was found to be 40 paces wide, the second widest lay so far found, and to just touch the present church. That line then passes through the Tor, as well as Chalice Well, the White Spring and the Abbey Barn there, a powerful church-like building, as well as Titherington Church with its association with the Empress Matilda, and the Coniger, a group of barrows which the Saxons surrounded with a pentagonal ditch before reaching Stonehenge. From here it continues to Surrey to pass through the South Nutfield Church, a powerful church on the E-Line, a very wide lay from the Isle of Sheppey to Cape Cornwall. See the video, The Pitch Hill Project, on this channel. And the ancient church at Compton near Guildford, nearly a thousand years old. See the video, A Lay Through Glastonbury and Stonehenge, on this channel. Finally, the edge alignment lay from Stanton Drew reaches Burrow Mump, King Alfred's Fort, with its never completed 18th century church. It just touches one edge of the fort. The line crosses the Michael line here, at the nose of the great Dog of Langport figure, which guards Catherine Maltwood's Glastonbury Temple of the Stars. The website of Somerset Live described a UFO sighting which occurred at Stanton Drew. On August the 26th, 1950, in the early hours of the morning, a 20-year-old woman was walking back to her home in the village of Stanton Drew from a party. She decided to take a short cut through a field near to a set of stone circles when she heard a buzzing noise. Turning left, she noticed a bright saucer-shaped object which appeared to be hovering over the next field. She reportedly claimed that a door on the craft began to open. However, she was too scared to stick around and instead screamed and ran until she was safely back home. 